from strutting birds and hermaphrodite fish to mating balls and love darts. Here are 18 of the most bizarre animal mating rituals. Number 18, Black Widow. Along with the praying mantis, which is also on our list, these arachnids are often cited for practicing sexual cannibalism. The females are known to eat the males after mating, but the behavior doesn't happen as often as believed. Part of that is because males can sense chemicals in the female's web to determine whether she's recently fed. If she's recently dined on a suitor, another male has less chance of being eaten himself. Number 17, Horny Hippos. You might guess that any animal that looks like a hippo isn't going to take the subtle approach when it comes to wooing a mate. When a male hippo has his sights set on a potential mate, he positions himself where she can clearly see him, whereupon the male proceeds to lose control of his bowels and bladder on purpose. And to make sure his intended can't forget him, the male hippo spins his tail like a propeller, sending the stink and filth to the nostrils of his beloved. Like we said, not exactly subtle. Number 16, Peacock Spiders. These tiny critters belong to the same family as jumping spiders and are known for their vibrant coloration and distinct patterns. But only the males of this genus receive the striking colors, which are most notably displayed during courtship rituals. The male will raise the circular, colorful flap on his abdomen to catch the female's attention. To make himself more noticeable, the male will also make his abdomen and hind legs vibrate. Since all jumping spiders are known to have superior eyesight, the female can't miss the signals. Number 15, Greater Bird of Paradise. It was once believed that these birds had no legs. Supposedly, they were always kept aloft by their plumage and never touched the earth until they died. That inspired the idea that the birds were visitors from paradise. Females are larger, measuring up to 19 inches, 48 centimeters, excluding the tail. Males are known to congregate in groups called leks when it's time to court females. The displays involve an intricate choreography of dance moves and calls as they try to attract a mate. During the mating season, the presentation starts before sunup and lasts until after sunset. Number 14, Brush-tailed Fasca-gale. Also known as the common wambenga, this critter has a very rat-like appearance. But it's actually a marsupial that's found everywhere in Australia except for Tasmania. These arboreal carnivores are noted for their short lifespans, which results from the animal's frenzied mating process. A huge amount of energy is dedicated to reproduction, and about 25% of the male's body mass is geared to the process. They become so obsessed about perpetuating the species that they won't eat. The lack of food combined with the excess energy creates a mating burnout, and that stress brings on diseases that kill every male before they turn one year old. Number 13, Greater Sage Grouse. When it's time to mate, these birds engage in a complex system of courtship rituals. Like the greater bird of paradise, males of this species will gather together in leks to perform strutting displays before females. Every spring, they'll perform for several hours during the morning and evening by inflating the air sacs on their chest and making a variety of cricket-like chirping vocalizations. Of all the males gathered, only the two most dominant species will breed with 80% of the females. Number 12, Clownfish. If you've seen Finding Nemo or Finding Dory, you're familiar with clownfish. But did you know they can switch gender when it's required? They're known as sequential hermaphrodites. Clownfish develop as males first and upon maturation become females. Clownfish, or anemone fish, adhere to a strict dominance hierarchy, with the biggest and most aggressive female found at the top. In a group, only a male and a female will reproduce. But should the female clownfish be removed from the group, then one of the more dominant males will transform into a female. That leaves the rest of the males to move up a notch in the hierarchy. Number 11, Bowerbirds. These critters are famous for their unusual courtship rituals. In order to attract a mate, the males will construct a two-sided structure called a bower, hence their name. To sweeten his offer, he'll also decorate it with brightly colored objects like leaves, flowers, or even bits of glass and plastic. When the female will inspect his handiwork to judge whether he's a fit provider, 
the female usually inspects the work of several suitors before settling on a mate. Number 10. Praying Mantises Like the previously mentioned black widow spiders, these insects have a bad reputation when it comes to deadly mating rituals. And that reputation is well earned. A receptive female is known to eat her lover while in the midst of lovemaking, and it starts by biting off his head. It's one of the better researched types of sexual cannibalism. The good news for the male mantis is that this sort of incident happens only about 16% of the time. Even with those odds, it seems like a lethal risk to take. Number 9. White-Fronted Parrots We've mentioned a few birds in this episode, but none of them have a courtship display like this species. These Central American parrots have an extremely unusual way of initiating the mating process. Not unlike humans, they'll snuggle close and lock lips, or beaks in this case. But completely unlike humans, hopefully, the male then regurgitates directly into the mouth of his intended. The female usually accepts this gift as a sign of intimacy. We figure she's either very understanding, or the male parrot uses a great mouthwash. Number 8. Nursery Web Spiders Males of this arachnid species have one chance to favourably impress a potential mate, or risk being killed. To ensure their chances of survival, the male will arrive with a gift. It's usually a dead insect wrapped in their silk. The offer is made as a precautionary tactic. Researchers found that males who showed up without an offering were more likely to get eaten. In contrast, those who showed up with a gift were allowed more time for mating. Sometimes, though, the males tried to fool the female by offering a fake gift wrapped in silk so he can deceive her into having sex. Number 7. Red-Capped Mannequin This bird is found in tropical forests of Central America through South America. Its look is decidedly cool, and it has an even cooler method to court the ladies. When he targets the female of his choice, this guy is known to perform a type of moonwalk He'll also emit a series of noises like buzzes and snapping sounds to complete the song and dance act. It not only serves to woo his lady, but it also warns off potential suitors. It's kind of like the mannequin's way of saying, the girl is mine. Number six, fiddler crabs. They are found from the beaches of West Africa to the Indo-Pacific. The males are known to possess a minor claw along with a much larger claw, which inspires the fiddler nickname. The males are also known for their sneaky method of courtship. They initially woo the female with their larger claw, essentially inviting them to their burrow or nesting place. Normally, the male enters the burrow first. If the female is intrigued, she'll follow him in. But in some species, the male waits for the female to enter the burrow first. Then he follows her inside and traps her there to increase the odds of mating. Normally, females will visit some 20 males before choosing Mr. Right. Number 5. Desert Grassland Whiptail Lizards These creatures are found in the deserts of Arizona and along the Rio Grande River in New Mexico. They're long and slim, with a tail that exceeds their body length. But that's not their most amazing trait. This is an all-female species of reptile. Researchers have confirmed that no males have been discovered in the species. So what's their mating ritual like? It involves pseudo-copulation. That's a behaviour where the females essentially take turns switching between male and female roles. The behaviour is thought to promote egg production in both female lizards. The creatures actually reproduce by parthenogenesis, or reproduction without fertilisation. Number 4. Undersea Crop Circles Precisely sculpted geometric patterns have been found on seabeds off the coast of Japan for decades. Marine biologists were baffled by the unique designs which resembled crop circles. The patterns are actually created by male pufferfish for use as a spawning nest. The male uses a vibrating fin on his body to dig troughs and pile up sand to create the undersea circles. While it's done as an effort to attract females, the patterns serve other functions. The ridges and grooves protect the eggs from the effects of ocean currents and potential predators. Number 3. Red-Sided Garter Snake The mating habits of these animals resemble something of a reptilian orgy. Generally, there are far more males than females. 
During mating season, one or more males can be completely overwhelmed by 10 male snakes or more. As the creatures writhe and entwine themselves with each other, it results in a phenomenon called a mating ball. The male creatures coil about one another in an attempt to impregnate the female. Some males are known to release female pathogens in an effort to distract their competitors and gain some alone time with the female. Number 2. Anglerfish These deep sea predators are named for the spiny appendage spouting from its head that it uses as bait to lure in its prey. Given these fish live on the ocean floor, finding a significant other might prove bothersome. Scientists noticed two perplexing things in regard to the anglerfish. They had never located a male fish, and all female anglerfish have a lump on their bodies that appears like a parasite. But it turns out this lump represents the remains of the male fish. Because tiny male anglerfish are born without digestive systems, they have to find a female quickly once they hatch. When the male locates a female, he bites her body, releasing an enzyme that fuses the two creatures together. Over time, the male withers away until nothing is left except a lump on the body of the female anglerfish. When she's ready to spawn, the male's lump will fertilize her egg. Number one, snails. Like a few other species on the list, land snails and slugs are hermaphrodites. When it's time to breed, they shoot a love dart at their mate. That harpoon-shaped dart is actually a sharp reproductive apparatus that's located on their necks. That enables the shooter to inseminate the shootee, as it were. The stabbing process has some drawbacks. It can lead to decreased fertility and prove fatal over time. Would you call this a case of tough love? Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.